Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of September 2024. And I'll uh, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini, what we got. <clears throat> we got good stuff the overall energy for the reading the hermit you could be very much inward at this moment in time there's a lot of stuff going on internally uh in a good way there's a lot of healing there so let's see starting off the reading you get the seven of cups crossed by the four of wands uh there's some choices you may have to make in regards to a particular commitment um at least the energy of choices is definitely tied up to this one um in your focus the high priestess you're because you're under this hermit energy here you seem to be very much in tune with your intuition <clears throat> so i feel like you're going a lot with what feels right for you at this moment in time in the recent past the the hangman you definitely stopped in your tracks here i feel like it was one of those reassessment kinds of energies like okay hold hold on hold your horses Let's see what's really going on here. And that's how you probably went a little inward there. In your strength, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because you, you're tired. Same old shit every day. You just want something new, you know? Like, I, I, I just want something new. I'm tired of the same thing. Um, In the immediate future, the Queen of Cups. Ooh, your heart is opening up big time. And in the supportive energy, the King of Cups. Maybe because there's a reason for your heart to open up. I don't know. I see quite the matching love frequency here. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Four of Cups. <clears throat> You're upset about something. I don't know about what, but about something. In the Hopes and Fears, the Two of Cups, something is showing up for you. I feel like you're kind of still dealing with uh, potentially resolving a situation and then i feel like something else is showing up as you're still kind of working on something here because the energy of love is definitely kind of boosting here from somewhere um for the potential outcome the king of swords yeah you're showing up like in your power knowing what to do taking care of stuff okay let's uh let's clarify let me do the hermit <clears throat> for the hermit you get the seven of cups the king of wands the seven of swords yeah it's like you're 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 potentially wrapping something up as something else opens up it's like an uh they they overlap there these energies as you do something and taking care of something something else something new potentially comes in that's kind of how it looks like there um okay let's do the seven of cups the knight of swords the five of pentacles the lovers you got you got something going on here there's a little bit of fear in the way in terms of okay well there is the potential for something new but i'm kind of scared because i don't know exactly what it is so it's a little scary but it's on one hand, you're creating this brand new energy because you just want something new. And then that opens the door up to new energy coming in. So it is coming in and then you see it and then you want to go for it. But you're a little bit scared because you don't know exactly what it is. Like it feels good. It's, you know, but still. <clears throat> Let's do the high. No, not the high priestess. The four of wands. You get the six of swords, the king of cups, the world card. Yeah. Wrapping something up, and then you're good to go for whatever's next. But whatever's next is kind of already here. Um, I feel like it's not here in the way that you would know it's here. Like, oh yeah, I got something. Not really, but the energy of it is definitely present. You know, so... Okay, this, is, uh, this might be interesting. Uh, let's do the High Priestess in your focus. The Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, and you feel it. You know it's here. 
So even if it's not here from a conscious perspective where you would go, oh yeah, I know what this is about. Uh, as an energy, you feel it. You feel it's here, you know, somewhere. Interesting, because you're opening up to the new energy. That's why you feel it. Let's do the hangman in the recent past. Oi, 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 oi. What happened there? The moon, the tower, the two of wands. Uh, this may have belonged to whatever you're wrapping up here. Mm, quite a shaken up kinds of energies, but like more internally in the way that it felt. I don't see a lot of shakeups necessarily on the outside. It's more what the outside created for you internally in regards to the situation. On the outside, it's like nothing's happening really. But like, man, it shook you up. Whatever the hell this was. Um, as to the ace, but it's, it's kind of good because it riled up to such extent that it brought you into this place of healing and not necessarily, oh, I feel like shit and I don't know what to do about it, so I'll just let it be. No, it actually kind of um, sent you right in this healing energy that I see here open for you, you know? Um, cool. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles in your strength. The Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Wands. You've been patient with this. And it's been a long period of time in which this just wants to close off. And I feel like you've been on this closing path of this for quite a minute, you know? But right now you're getting to the point of, I'm actually quite excited. Like I, I, I'm, I'm excited to be done with this and to see what's out there as a new energy, you know, instead of dealing with this all the time. Um, okay. Let's do the Queen of Cups in the uh, immediate future. The Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Two of Swords. You're scared and your fear here is creating quite the anxiety over the new energy that's coming in. Your heart is opening up again through this healing process that you're undergoing, whether you know it or not, it's there, it's happening. And through that, your heart is opening up. And the more that happens, the more you feel like <clears throat> something that resonates with that frequency of your heart is just around the corner. And it's scary because it's like as good as it feels, I have no idea what that's about. So because of that fear being there, your thoughts are starting to come in like a lot. And it's just kind of disconnecting you from that heart of yours that's opened up, you know? It's a very interesting play around your intuition and your heart here and how you're kind of navigating through that and then the fear that's in the way that's creating all sorts of Energies that you're familiar with, but you don't necessarily agree with, you know, the, the whole overthinking aspect of things. Uh, for the King of Cups in the supportive energies, you get the Hangman, the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there as an energy. It's it's near you. It's You can feel it. It's near you. With the Hangman being there, it shows up as not physically there, there, you know. <clears throat> embodied in an energy um, or a physical kind of a being or entity yet but it's there let's do the four of cups in the hidden energies you get the four of wands the high priestess the queen of wands you're a little bit upset you're a little bit upset because the energy that you're feeling that is around you, you can't see it, you can't feel it, you feel it, feel it. And you, because you can't see it, you, f you think it's not really there. And you're a little bit upset about it. Like, where is it? You're upset about something that's there. You're upset about it because it's not there. <laughs> it's like, it's there. Um, okay. Yeah, oh, man. This is a complicated kind of an energy because it's there but it's not there but it's there uh for the two of cups in your hopes and fears you get the temperance card the king of pentacles the death card you've been at, at this for for quite a minute at this situation and i feel like you haven't seen that you being so focused on whatever this process was of closing something off um wasn't allowing for this new energy to to open up for you 
And it's not like, oh, then, uh, you know, I did it to myself. I'm to blame. No, you weren't ready. Even if this was open for you and showing up in front of you, slamming you in the face, this new energy, you wouldn't have been ready because you had to close this off. But now that you're on the final stretch of closing this off, this energy is getting bigger and bigger. And you, I know for a fact you feel it, but then because you overthink it, you actually start being upset with it for not being there. And it's like, it's there. Um, for the King of Swords in the potential outcome, you get the Six of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. When it does show up, I see you seeing it, recognizing it. Oh, there it is, you know? But the minute it shows up, you're like, uh, what do I do now? What do I, uh, what, 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 what do I do? So you feel it's there, but you're upset with it for not showing up. And then when it does show up, that's your reaction. I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You, tell me what to do, you know? You know exactly what you know what to do. You got the King of Swords in there. You know what to do when it does show up. First of all, stop being upset with it for not showing up because it's it's been there all along. Second of all, freaking enjoy the moment. Enjoy it. Go with it. There's nothing to do, just being there with it. That's it. You know. Uh, interesting reading, but let me see what the universe has to close this off. The Ace of Cups, the Death card, the Nine of Wands. This process of closing this off, whatever you're still kind of dealing with, has taken so long because uh, there was a lot of resistance in the way to close this off, to actually close this off. So the more we resist things, the longer they take to deal with, the, the harder they get, you know, you know how it goes. And there's been a lot of resistance to let this one go for good. There still is a little bit because it's not complete quite yet but i feel like the more this new energy is shown up the easier it's going to get to just close this off completely you know cool let's do the sacred spirit reading cards <clears throat> oops no Living light energy. See the beauty in life. Number 25. All right. Understanding that everything is energy, the air we breathe, the elements, emotions, sounds, animals, pe people, our thoughts, all of this is energy. Living light energy is positively charged <clears throat> and full of physical life, radiating its permeance through the universe. Cosmic and earthly energy is all living light energy as it stems from the celestial light source. All of creation, the cosmic Big Bang, <clears throat> and its remnants make up the world and beautiful collective of living light energy. It is pure energy that vibrates, vibrates at its original blueprint. While energy is transformed, transmuted, and recycled across time, its living light energy humes in synchronicity with universal planning. All energy pulses its divine signature with plants and animals also resonating with living light energy. The very state of their being, biologically unaltered, is an open receptacle to living light energy with creation in all forms stemming from its divine beauty. Opening yourself to receive living light energy requires only an open heart that wishes to be balanced and harmonized with the universal flow and the divine source of all that is. Whole and complete, this energy now awaits you to integrate and unify your heart into all love energy. Currently, you may have discovered or reignited a passion for crystals and gemstones, water gardens, walking or hiking in nature, and gardening. These beautiful energies are encouraging you to connect with living light energy, to open your heart to natural beauty and the breath of life. 
Right now, see the beauty in life. The simplicity of nature and its divine elegance will encourage you to reset your mind in the present moment. All energy is recycled. Know that now you are changing your attitude in life, soon to emerge from the deep slumber of transformation. Surround yourself with living energy such as plants, crystals, or minerals to support your light body through this powerful transition. Shadow aspect, hatred, dissonance, exhaustion. Sacred crystal, uh, celestite. Celestite? Yeah. Angel assistance, Archangel Ariel. Healthy living, connecting to animals and nature. Affirmation. I integrate living light energy within my heart, mind, and soul. I am one. Pretty cool. I told you your heart is opening up like crazy here. Uh, but anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.